Hey there, I heard you were sick. How are you now? I got you some flowers. <coughs> oh my god, bless you. Looks like your immune system is working really hard. Don't you know about the immune system? They are the most amazing army ever, and they keep fighting the toughest battle all the time. <laughs> Don't get so excited. I'll tell you all about this amazing defense which our body has against bacterias and viruses. Let me first show you the world around you with a microscope. You see, our world is filled with lots of germs, yet we're usually healthy thanks to our immune system. The immune system is an army of organs, tissues, and cells that work together to keep you safe from these germs. These germs, viruses, bacteria, fungi, and parasites try to enter your body all the time. The immune system uses many tricks and weapons to keep them away and kill them. Your body has three levels of defense. The first are your skin and mucous membranes. Second is swelling or fever and the third is the internal immune system. At the first level, your skin and the mucous membranes of your nose are the first barrier for these germs. It's not easy to get inside your body, covered with a waterproof, germ-proof, self-healing skin. Oh, take it easy. In case your skin is getting cut through or a bee stings you, then the second level of defense comes for help. The red swelling and your fever are all ways of the immune system to limit your damage. So, what are the first and second level defenses of your immune system army? Very good! It's not all about defense. Even if the first and second level defense fails and a germ is able to get inside your body, then the third level of defense for your immune system starts working. When a virus invades your body, it tries to take your healthy cells and makes more copies of itself. This makes you feel sick. We must stop it. Your third level immune system follows a three-point attack plan. It identifies the invaders, kills them, and then remembers them for future battles. So here is how it happens in the body. The first step is to identify them. Special cells called macrophages do this work. They surround the enemy and raise a flag to call the deadly attacking battalions. This flag indicates an antigen. This means there's an enemy cell which needs to be destroyed. <laughs> Your weapons will be of no use. To kill the germs, the immune system has a battalion of T cells, B cells, and killer K cells, which work together to kill these cells. Do you want to know more about these? Then there are M cells, who remember the enemy viruses so that if they come next time, they are killed immediately. Do you want to know more about these? T cells are helper cells that recognize the antigen flag on the macrophage. They call out to their friends the B cells. The B cells produce Y-shaped antibodies. These antibodies attach to the antigen and tag them for destruction. Kind of like a game of tag or catch that you play with your friends. Now it's easy for the killer K cells to destroy all the germs because they have been tagged by the T and B cells. Then comes the K cells. They will destroy all the germs. That was a lot of stuff to understand. Do you remember who are the fighters of our immune system army? Yes, yes! There's still work left to do for the immune system. Special memory cells, called M cells, carry the memory of an attack even after the victory. This makes our immune system better prepared for the next attack. Your immune system works hard to keep you healthy. Would you like to know how you can help it? Wash your hands frequently. Most germs enter your body through your hands. Get your vaccine injections on time. The vaccines help strengthen your immune systems against many dangerous diseases. Eat healthy, sleep nicely, and exercise regularly so your immune system has less to do.